I saw Shame last week, the 2011 Steve McQueen film starring Michael Fassbender as a so-called sex addict. I think some key films to think about in correlation with Shame are Cronenberg's Crash and, in a certain way, Godard's Contempt. And the reason is, is that all these films manage to make the sex scenes as unsexy as possible, which itself becomes a kind of aesthetic statement, because these filmmakers are not only using sex in an unusual way, especially Godard opening the film with Bridget Bardot, who was considered a major sex star at the time, and putting her in this awkward situation, but they're actually also making the sex scenes part of the story. You know, rather than popping them into the expected places a la Top Gun or a Vince Diesel movie, not that there's anything wrong with Top Gun or Vince Diesel, but I think you know what I mean. They are um, putting them in in a way that serves the narrative purpose that tells us something about the characters. Not that the characters are people who have sex, but that the way these people have sex defines something about their characters. In any case, I think perhaps the strongest scene of characterization in the film occurs when Michael Fassbender as Brandon has a very awkward date with a woman whom he may or may not be interested in for her humor or personality on top of her physical attractiveness, but we really can't tell. Um, what we do get, though, is a very subtle clue about his general habits of selecting partners at the physical level when the waiter asks him what kind of water he would like. Tap water is fine, Brandon replies, and then later he simply orders the same wine that the, wa the waiter mentioned to him when introducing the menu. And the point of these narrative choices is to show the lack of discrimination that the character practices in his sex life at a metaphorical and a symbolic level. So when you see the film, watch for that scene. <laughs> 